the Food and Drug Administration warning dog owners about the types of pet foods that you're feeding your dog. There may be a link between dog foods containing primarily potatoes and canine heart disease. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson talked to a number of animal experts who are unaware of these new findings and say it is a warning dog owners need to be aware of. The recent news from the FDA was in fact new to Dr. Craig Sandler, a veterinarian at the Lakewood Animal Clinic. This is new. I've never heard this before. This is a relatively new thing. Now, I was doing some reading about it. The FDA is warning that potato-based pet foods may be causing heart disease in dogs. The investigation began after pet foods with peas, lentils, potatoes, and other legumes showed a potential link to something called canine dilated cardiomyopathy. Dr. Sandler says the findings still need more study. Taurine is believed to be, they're thinking right now in their preliminary reporting um, that taurine deficiency is in these foods is what's causing the issue or potentially adding to it. I mean, there's some genetic factors and things like taurine that. Taurine is a chemical in the body? Taurine is an amino acid oh, an amino that acid. is needed by animals, people, everybody. I talked to numerous dog owners at Dogwood Park on the south side. They were split on whether the FDA findings would convince them to change the brands they buy. Are you very selective or just kind of what they like? Yes, I'm very selective, not just what they like. I, li I like the uh, limited ingredient diet. Um, it's got to be it's got to be basically holistic before I'll buy it for my pups. I feel like that's like every study with human food too. So there's going to be thousands of studies and it depends on the dog, it depends on the outcome, there's lots of different things that are involved. So I just go with what he likes because I can't control what he eats out here anyway. Thank you. So the uh, pet food manufacturers and veterinary community are now in contact with the FDA to talk about this issue as they will probably be learning more in coming months. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.